Welcome friends, myself Shopti Borni from Balai. Hope all of you are doing well. Okay, today we will discuss about a very important chapter from class 10 ICSC board, the sense organs. If you want to check out my other videos of class 10 ICSC, you can uh, you can check the description box and you can find the links below there and you can also check the i button above. Okay, okay so let's begin. See, we all know that our body has five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. And we can sense light, sound, touch, uh, uh, smell and taste from these sense organs. But except this, there are also other sen sensations can be sensed by our body like the pain, thirst, hunger. Then body movement, balance, etc. Okay. So what are the sense organs? Sense organs are those organs of our body which enables us to access the condition of also the external environment and also the internal environment of our body. Okay. So actually we sense all these kind of sensations through special sensory cells which are collectively known as receptors of our body okay receptor receives some kind of stimulus and then that stimulus is processed in our brain and then we uh, give response according to that stimulus so what are the different kinds of receptors in our body there are mechanoreceptors mechanoreceptor means these kinds of receptors are present in our skin and they can sense any kind of mechanical changes like the change in pressure. Okay, so the touch we can sense is sensed by those mechanoreceptors. Okay, because when you touch someone, there is a change in pressure. Okay, the other kind of receptors are phonoreceptors. Phone means you know that phone is related to sound. So phonoreceptors are found in our ears and they are uh, related to hearing. Chemoreceptors are found in our nose and also in our tongue. See, whenever you are tasting something, the food has a special kind of chemical in it and your taste bud can sense that chemical, okay? And then it can send that signal to, a, to your brain and that chemical, that chemical nature can be sensed by your brain. Okay, so the taste buds are the chemoreceptors. Similarly, whenever you are smelling anything like smelling a flower, the fragrance of a flower is a special kind of chemical. Okay, so your brain can also, these receptors can also receive the stimulus of that chemical, of that fragrance. Okay, and then your brain processes. So, those are the chemoreceptor. Chemo means chemical. There are also thermoreceptors which can sense the temperature. Okay. Is it cold or is it hot? Can be sensed by your receptors on your skin. And, and the last but not the least, the photoreceptors. Photo means light. Photon. From photon, the photo comes. So, the light receptor. The light receptors are present in your retina. In your eyeball. Okay. And the photoreceptor cells are of two kinds. Rod cells and cone cells. Rod cells helps to see in dim light. And uh, cone, cone cells uh, helps to see in bright light. Okay. So these are five kind of different receptors in our body. Now today we will learn about a special sense organ of our body. Our ears. We all know that our ear is. Uh, responsible for hearing but it is also responsible for maintaining our body balance okay so what are the what is the structural features of our ear see our ear can be divided into three parts the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear the outer ear consists of pina auditory canal and the eardrum or tympana. What is pina? Pina is the outermost visible portion. This is the pina. Okay. This is the pina or auricle of our ear which we can see. And when you roll your earbud inside the canal of your ear, that canal is known as the auditory 
ऑडिटरी कैटल ऑडिटरी मीन्स एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू साउंड ओके सो एज आवर इयर्स कन्वेज द साउंड और साउंड वाइब्रेशन सो दैट कैनल इज नोन एज ऑडिटरी कैनल सो सी हियर यू कैन सी दैट इट इज आवर पीना ओके इट इज आवर पीना दिस इज आवर ऑडिटरी कैनल विच कन्वेज द साउंड वे एंड वेन यू रोल योर इयर बर्ड इन साइड योर इयर uh sometimes you will see uh, you will find that your ear bud cannot go inside okay something is there which is which restricts it that membrane that membrane or that wall is known as the ear drum and never try to invade that ear drum okay it will be very dangerous so never do that this is the ear drum or the tympanum okay so these three things pina auditory canal and the ear drum consists of our external ear or our outer ear so this portion is the outer ear okay o e now coming to the middle ear of our body the middle portion of our ear consists of three ear ossicles what are the ear ossicles means ossicle means small bones there are three small bones in our middle ear those are this red one is the malleus malleus looks like a hammer okay so we can also call it hammer but it is popularly known as malleus then this green one this green one is the anvil anvil or incus okay incus looks like a anvil anvil is a uh, metal thing we, uh, on which you can strike other metals okay so it looks like anvil this is popularly known as incus so this is malleus this is incus and then this smallest bone of our body this is the smallest bone of our body known as stapes this black one okay stapes is also known as stirrup stirrup is a loop like thing uh which which you can find uh, on which the horse riders keeps their feet okay when they uh uh on which they keep their feet so this is the stirrup or the stapes so there are three bones or three small bones or ear ossicles inside the middle ear malleus incus and stapes you can find here very easily that this is a hammer like malleus this red one this green one is the anvil like incus and this black one which look like a looks like a stirrup is the stapes okay now along with this three ear ossicles inside the uh, middle ear you will find you will also find a tube like structure this is the eustachian tube and this tube opens to the middle ear okay this is the tube opening this tube actually connects your middle ear to your throat and this tube helps to equalize the pressure inside your middle ear okay so that your ear drum can vibrate properly see whenever um, you are not yawning at a normal position you can uh, you can hear anything very properly but when you are yawning okay then there is a certain kind of pressure change as the eustachian tube is connecting to your throat okay so due to that pressure change your uh, auditory auditory drum okay or the ear drum cannot move or cannot vibrate properly that is why during yawning you cannot listen anything properly okay so the function of the eustachian tube is to equalize the air pressure inside the middle ear so our middle ear consists of three ear ossicles and the eustachian tube opening of the eustachian tube now coming to the inner ear inner ear consists of three parts the cochlea three semicircular canals and the vestibule see this is our inner ear okay this portion is our inner ear you can find that this is the this blue one is the cochlea which rounds like a it it looks like a shell of a snail okay see this one and it has cochlea has actually uh, two and half turns like a jelly 
see here you here you can see i have drawn the cochlea it looks like a shell of a snail and this cochlea joins with the middle ear through a oval window this is the oval window see this one is the oval window where the stapes connects and another window just below the oval window is known as round window it also connects the middle ear to the inner ear so beside cochlea there are also two other things in your inner ear those are semi circular canals see this one this one and this one these three are the semi circular canals of your uh, inner ear and these three semi circular canals here you can also see these three semi circular canals okay one is uh, one is horizontally situated other two are vertically situated they are actually placed right angles to each other okay at three different planes and along with the three semi circular canals you will also find a vestibule here this is the vestibule okay see here this is the vestibule semi circular canals the um, this portion the bottom portion of the semi circular canals are like balloon have a balloon like structure that is why they are known as ampulla and below that the portion which joins the semi circular canals to the cochlea is known as vestibule this portion is vestibule vestibule is also divided into two parts the utriculus upper utriculus this portion is utriculus and this portion is sacculeus okay so in the inner ear we have found three structures the cochlea the semi three semi circular canals and the vestibule which is divided into utriculus and sacculeus now coming to the cochlea cochlea is the main auditory structure in our ear okay if you cut the cochlea you will find that three parallel canals runs inside the cochlea okay those three canals if we draw it um, here we can find that if it is a cross section of a cochlea you will find this is one canal this canal is known as scala vestibuli as it joins to the vestibule above this one is known as the scala uh, scala media or the median canal or the cochlear canal the main cochlear canal and the last canal is known as scala tympani okay so these three canals consist of the cochlea the, they are parallel to each other the outer canal scala vestibuli and the scala tympani contains a fluid known as perilymph as they are situated peripherally the uh, the liquid uh, is known as perilymph okay but the scala median or the median canal consists of fluid which is known as endolymph endo means inside now this scala media this this one or the scala uh, the scala media is the main auditory canal of our ear here you can see that this is the basilar membrane okay and on this basilar membrane you will find a row of cells okay different kinds of cells are there these cells are the receptor cells there are two types of receptor cells outer ear cells and inner ear cells and they are the main uh, phonoreceptor cells and they makes up the organ of cauti okay this is the canal of cauti okay canal of organ of cauti so organ of cauti is the main auditory structure of our ear this organ of cauti consists of these black cells see here the black cells which have hair like extensions above them okay these hair like extensions are known as stereocilia they are mainly responsible for the audition okay and from these uh, receptor cells arises nerve fibers arises and those nerve fibers joins this red one this auditory nerve okay and this auditory nerve conveys the sound vibration to your brain and you can also find a red colored membrane over 
here like a roof on the uh, phonoreceptor cells. This uh, membrane is known as tectorial membrane. Okay. So this is the main auditory structure, the organ of corti of our middle ear. Sorry, of our inner ear. So now, how do we hear? Okay. See. Suppose here is your pina. Your pina is an expanded structure. Why? Do you know? Because this expanded funnel-like structure helps to channelize all the sound waves. Okay? To converge all the sound waves to your auditory canal. So, see here, all the sound waves are converged to your auditory canal and then it strikes the eardrum or the tympanum and vibrates it. And the proper vibration we have already discussed, the proper vibration of the eardrum is regulated by the eustachian tube in the middle ear. Okay, when the eardrum is vibrated, the ear ossicles, the uh, malleus which is attached to it is also vibrated then malleus vibrates the uh, incus okay and at last the incus vibrates the stapes so first malleus is vibrated then incus and then stapes as the arrangement of malleus and incus works as a lever okay and it helps to amplify the vibration sound vibration in the stapes. Now, when the sound vibration is amplified, the stapes then conveys that vibration inside the cochlea. Now, inside the cochlea, you know that there are fluids, perilymph, endolymph, perilymph. Now, this fluid is vibrated. This endolymph is vibrated and along with the vibration of this endolymph, the stereocilia, these hair-like processes of the phonoreceptor cells of organ of corti is also vibrated. And this vibration makes a signal. This signal is carried by the nerve fibers to the auditory nerve. Okay, this is the auditory nerve, the red one. And then that signal, that auditory signal goes to your brain and then you can recognize the sound okay see we we cannot recognize all frequency of sound okay we can only recognize between a range of 2 to uh, sorry 20 to 20000 hertz of frequency but the uh, clearly audible sound is in the range of 1000 to 4000 hertz so now this is how your audition takes place now Another thing is that I have told you earlier that hearing ear is not only uh, uh, responsible for the hearing. It is also responsible for the maintaining your body balance, your dynamic balance and also your static balance. What does that two words mean? The dynamic and the static balance. Dynamic balance means when you are in motion, like you are running or you are walking. Okay. Or you are spinning round and round. That kind of balance is known as the dynamic balance. And static balance means when you are steady. Okay. No motion is occurring. You are just steady. Like you are, uh, you are sitting. Okay. There is no motion. So the dynamic balance is maintained by your semicircular canals. Okay. See here I have drawn the three semicircular canals. And the... Uh, Bottom side of the semicircular canals are known as ampulla. Those bell-like structures. This one, this one, this one. Okay. So, inside this ampulla, there are also some receptor cells. And this semicircular canal also consists of some kind of fluid. Whenever you, you are in motion, uh, for example, say you, you are uh, spinning round and round. Okay. Then what happens? Your fluid inside your semicircular canal is, is also spinning. Okay. And that spinning motion causes the receptor, the cilia of your receptor cells to vibrate. And that vibration can also be, uh, uh, can also be conveyed to your brain via the auditory nerve. Now, please ignore the sound in the background. Okay. Now, another thing.
thing is the static balance. What is static balance? I have already discussed. Now the static balance is also uh, is also maintained by a patches of uh, receptor cells which resides in the vestibule. Okay, the utriculus and sacculus part of your ear. So the dynamic balance is maintained by the semicircular canal. The receptors in the semicircular canals, whereas the static balance is maintained by the receptors in your vestibule, and the audition is maintained by the um, scala media of your cochlear canals. Okay, the organ of cochlea, mainly the organ of cochlea. So, uh, with this, we end our today's lesson here. If you find my lecture useful and if you like my way of teaching. Please like, share and subscribe by pressing the bell button below. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching and happy learning.